Hello there. Damn it. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. If you wanted to see me, you could have just called. <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. But I know you're not here for me, are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. That device is far too dangerous to be out in the world. If Lady Arkham got a hold of it, that blood would be on your hands. Wow, that's pretty dramatic, Bruce. Why are we suddenly on bad terms? Catch. Thanks. You might be exaggerating, but I'd rather not take the chance. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together... A lie. I don't think so. That's how it started. Mm-hmm. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. Like what you've been doing? You owe me the money, but... But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Bruce, I... I think I finally get what this is all about. You're upset that I'm leaving. <laughs> What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Is that what you really thought? Well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Ah, oh, Bruce. Didn't know you were the sensitive type. Just stop the show, Selena. Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce, I'll admit that what you and I had, it wasn't terrible. <laughs> but you were just another job. A more intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. And that's how she protects herself. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? I don't think I love her just yet. You fought by my side. 
and together we saved a lot of lives. We're a good team, Selena. You had to know that wouldn't last. But it was nice. While it did. You know, after I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. Oh, let's do it. Something to remember me by. <laughs> I won't need any help remembering you. Well, it's been fun. You stay out of trouble. Because if I catch you taking what's not yours again, I'll have to stop you. <laughs> I look forward to our next dance. Might be a long while before that. But that's nice. A promise of a next meeting. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I- Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! What?! I, I tried to keep them out, but- Alfred? Alfred! I step up for one second. Alfred! Whoa. Did they really have to do that to the knob? Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. I need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Oh, but you're not wearing Batman gadget right now. Does it work like that? Oh, I'm a little bit scared here because I saw blood. I saw blood. He looks so nonchalant. <laughs> blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. Oh, that's not a good sign. Lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. Well, if Alfred was here, then maybe they didn't discover the Batcave, which is still a good thing. Even though Alfred's gone. How the hell... That's, uh... That's the thing for the fireplace, huh? It's all the way up there? But there's no blood. Which is also a good sign. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. The fireplace. Ooh. What did they do to you, Alfred? Oh no. Ash everywhere. Something big was thrown against this wall. Like a person? Or someone. Hmm. Well, for starters, maybe the fireplace and the, the fire poker. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. What? Okay, that makes no sense. How can someone knock something away and then have that that shot be so forceful that it's stuck on the wall? That doesn't really make sense to me. <laughs> Scuff mark. Oh. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Anything else over there? Ugh. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Well, I hope it's not Alfred's blood. 
Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon, broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Oh my god. <sighs> Alfred still got it in him. He was quite violent in here, huh? So we have the lock, the scuff mark. Oh, broken shelf. I'm not sure how to link the rest. Maybe we'll have to go for a more random approach. Okay, scuff mark. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Um, it seems like it might be related to the fire to me, but it's already linked with something else. There's no description for it. Oh, something was thrown. Oh, furniture. Maybe the... the vase here? Oh, was that not a thing? I thought that was evidence. Well... Actually, this is kind of strange. Huh. How come I can't click on anything? That was... Was that right? Oh! The lock? That wasn't evidence? Hmm. Okay, well it seems like I have to link these two. What about the mantle blood? Half the things aren't even showing up anymore. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. What? I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wow. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Oh. Huh. I mean, maybe that's what happened, but I feel like you made a lot of assumptions just now. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. What? The butler did it? Did what? Head, Lucius. Worrying isn't going to help Alfred. We need to focus. You're right. Let's get started. Whoa! Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. 
Wow. That's an impressive piece of technology. Okay. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Wow. Off one little reflection. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. This looks like some type of basement. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Wow. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Hmm. Fairly similar, but everyone seems to be looking up, probably because the Lady of Arkham is coming. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Enhance! Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. Oh, there she is. Why is she still doing the voice synthesizer thing? It's like we already know who you are. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Is it? Well, combining with the other details, I guess, but wow. These are some glasses. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Oh, big hint. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Just the bus stop was enough. We don't even need anything else. Uh, basements, okay. Are we gonna do some detective work here? Okay, so he put the basements down. Now... Hang on. Whoa, okay. It's very hard to see what I'm selecting, because it's all the same color. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. If I can get the bus line from this... But no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. So three possible locations. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. The most dangerous place is also the safest place. What is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Mark II. Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state of the art. This ends tonight. He's waltzes in through the front door. Okay. Heading into the basement. Be careful. I don't know about this. It could be a trap. I'm all right. Yeah. But the fact that it went off means that they know you're here. And he's not gonna be here. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. 
Gotta be careful. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. Mm. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. If you save Alfred, hang on, I forgot. Lady Arkham knows who we are, right? Bruce Wayne and Batman. Yeah, okay, never mind. I was thinking that him saving Alfred would be a dead giveaway. Alfred. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Ah! Looks like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? To torture people? Now let's find out where the Veils were hiding. Don't need to kick it down. There's a small room. Whoa. With a hole in the floor. So it should lead into the sewer, where they hide the rest of their stuff. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Oh. Alfred! Not sure that's a smart idea. <sighs> Someone's gonna... Am I gonna be able to come back up? That might be a problem. I'm going inside. What? Oh my god. Someone was beat here. Bruce, what's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. Was Vicky so abused? Kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? Glasses. Vicky. She was kept down here. Locked away. Who could do that to their child? She's adopted. I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child. It's why she killed the veils. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but... But... I can't imagine what she went through. The Vale's foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. Wow, that's... Does that mean the other kid was abused as well? Oh my god. Alfred laid down here. You mean he was thrown down here? There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different. Newer. Can we isolate the new chalk? You can do that, right? Bloody scratches. Fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. Oh my god. The belt. It's caked in blood. Getting a really bad feeling here. Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. But why would they adopt children and then abuse them? Oh, maybe they wanted to get like child support or something. Disturbing. Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. 
Damn. That's why she took out the eye of her parents. Was it her mom or dad? But one of them, they were missing an eye. Or both eyes, really. Alfred's glasses. One piece apart from the others. Yellow. Mm -hmm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... I still like the yellow. Ooh, whoa. What? Someone's gonna... burn down a building with her eyes? Shall be unleashed. Okay, hang on. An arrow. Pointing to a building. Arkham. Alfred has highlighted three words. Shall be unleashed. Well, there's only three things, right? What is there to link? <laughs> Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. Alfred is highlighted. Shall be unleashed. And he's pointing me to her drawing of Arkham. Sounds like something out of a fire and brimstone sermon. That's exactly what it is. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. Are you sure about that? 